Now for these questions, we start with multiples of 10, so numbers that end in a zero, and we're dividing by numbers which are also multiples of 10. So first, we have 420 divided by 70. Now what we can do with division questions is cancel our end zeros. So because both numbers in the question end in a zero, we can cross out these zeros and then just answer 42 divided by 7, which is 6. So that's also the answer to 420 divided by 70. Now we have 360 divided by 60. Again, with division questions, we can cancel our end zeros. So 360 divided by 60 will give the same answer as 36 divided by 6, which is 6. Finally, we have 720 divided by 90. Both numbers are multiples of 10, so we can cancel our end zeros. And 72 divided by 9 is 8. So that's also our answer to 720 divided by 90. So remember, when we're dividing multiples of 10, we can cancel our end zeros to solve these problems mentally. And that makes sense if we remember that one way to divide is to count up in steps of the divisor until we get to the dividend. So we can count on in steps of 70 until we reach 420. We have 70, 140, 210, 280, 350, and then the sixth multiple of 70 is 420. And that's why 420 divided by 70 is 6. Now here we're dividing by 60, so we can count up in steps of 60 until we reach 360. We have 60, 120, 180, 240, 300, and then the sixth multiple of 60 is 360. Now to divide by 90, we could count up in steps of 90 until we reach our dividend. So we have 90, 180, 270, 360, 450, 540, 630, and then the eighth multiple of 90 is 720. And that's why 720 divided by 90 is 8.